Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. We are Ginger Unscripted, your best friend podcast. Two gingers, <laughs> one real, one fake. Can you tell <laughs> which one's which? My mother said the ginger beard is, is what gives a it away. telling giveaway. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I have to grow a ginger beard yeah. just to prove. Or I'll dye mine. <laughs> what color? I don't know. I feel like I could go darker and it would look fine. But if I go lighter or like a different color, mm. then I'm just in a whole other category. Yeah. Are, are you dyeing the hair with it? Because nope. are you just having yeah, a multicolored just the, just the beard. hair vibe going? I'm afraid of dyeing my hair. I've never done Yeah, it. I don't blame you. I, they, don't they always tell like natural gingers not, <laughs> not to? to well, I, I was chatting with like a hairstylist not too long ago. Yeah. And I, they were like, oh, have you ever dyed your hair? And I'm like, oh, no. Like, I'd be afraid I'd like lose the color. And they were adamant that like dyeing your hair does no like permanent harm mm. you will always get back to your original color and then i was Were like any of them ginger no she was I not <laughs> trusted <laughs> uh, I, was, I was like i feel like i have such a unique color like why, why even yeah. chance it and they were like no it would just grow back out and then i'm like yeah but it's chemicals no. and they were like no and i was like okay yeah but i feel like the logic it'll just grow back out only makes sense like oh if you shave it <laughs> yeah which i guess i could do that i could always like dye my hair yeah. some, but i never understand when like directors or anybody are like oh like you we'd need you to dye your hair i'm like why like why why does the ca- why does it matter if the character has brown hair versus like ginger mm. hair i'm like that seems the vibes yeah they're just like oh you like i had one guy for a play too he was like oh, you'd have to dye your hair brown and i'm like i'm already pretty much brown like why would it matter he's like well the character has brown hair i'm like tell me explain to me narratively in this plot why it is important that this person is brown hair. yeah i know it's just it's just oh Mm -hmm. Uh, pet feeder pardon Uh, that (laughs) um it's just it's just the vibes i guess but i'll also in that same thinking i'm like then you should hopefully have the budget to give me a realistic looking wig totally (laughs) yeah i would go wig if i had to yeah i just shave it It just has to be well (laughs) i feel like then we're kind (laughs) of (laughs) doing the the same thing here (laughs) well i'm still not getting any chemicals in my hair or i could do like a buzz cut so it would fit better that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. So I think one of the first funny things we can address is um, mm-hmm. we asked you guys um, to tell us who you would want as the first guest oh, in the yeah. podcast. Mm-hmm. And the most popular response was our mothers. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? I guess we do talk about our moms. Our moms, Our yeah. mads on here Meh. enough where they're like, bring them on. Yeah. You know, I thought about it, but then I was like, that would just be like a lot of like feminine energy. It'd be me, my mother, <laughs> you, your mother, and <laughs> I'm just hanging out there like, okay, here's here's three women in my life, <laughs> which is not necessarily a bad thing, but <laughs> I, I, you know. What are you saying? I, you know, <laughs> doesn't everybody have a little bit of trepidation to just be like surrounded by like, your like your your own mother and like your one of your good friends' mother. I think it would like be what if uh, it was me, my dad, your dad, and you. My dad would just be telling st- funny <laughs> stories. I think you you and my dad would just be hawking it up about funny stories because that's I'd, all I'd my be, dad. I'd be does. trying to get all the tea. Yeah, but they, they, there's not even like one percent of you that'd be like, oh, that's that's a lot of like male energy I'd be surrounded no. by. Well, okay, I, I'll unpack my yeah, things. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's something. <laughs> It wasn't a bad thing, but I was just like, oh man, like no, but to be fair, like two hours of that, like uh. I, I, I literally grew up around that. Yeah. So I had like twenty five boy cousins that I was just surrounded by. You did some wrestling. Lots and lots of wrestling. Mm. Although I was a little lad, so there wasn't much (laughs) defending (laughs) happening. Mostly, I was just a little lad. (laughs) Give me your best little lad voice. (laughs) I feel like I always just go to like it's it's not. Little lad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little lad. <laughs> Say, uh, I'm a little lad and I like my breakfast in the morning. I'm a little lad and I like my <laughs> my breakfast in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say berries and cream. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that? about that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, man, 10 out of 10 little lad. <laughs> right, well, thank you. What's your little lad, so? Uh, yeah. <laughs> A little lad. <laughs> I like my breakfast in the morning. I'm a little lad. I have places to go. <laughs> I'm quick on my feet. Give me a half penny, sir. I'll deliver your message. Ooh, I think your little lad is definitely a leprechaun. <laughs> There's well, definitely a pot of gold. What are you trying to say? At the end of that. What are you trying to say? Rainbow. 
It's just the voice. Don't nah. make it deep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was I was on set a couple days ago in San Francisco, and uh, I, I've worked with these people a couple of times now. They're they're, they're fine people, uh, I guess. But <laughs> we were like joking around. And uh, it's like I do like TikToks for McDonald's. It's like an ad agency that McDonald's hires to like make their TikToks. Interesting. And so this one, it was like I guess McDonald's is doing like Slurpees now. Mm-hmm. And so for I had to like take like two Slurpees and like pour one in and then like hold it up. And it's all very quick. It's like six seconds max. Yeah. Um, and so I was joking around with them. There were like two other guys, and they, they basically did the same thing with each of us. And I was like, oh, like I'm, I'm definitely like the best, right? Like nobody's like doing this better than me. And then they were kind of joking around. They were like, oh, the other guys did pretty well, pretty well. And then one of the girls was like, oh, you're definitely like our best ginger. And so me being an instigator, I was like, well, what do you mean by that? Like, why? How can you say that? And then like it's it's San Francisco, so they're all like very like diverse. And then she happened to be white, but then the other two people were not. And they looked at her and they were like, you can't say that. And she's like, what, is that bad? And then I was like, well, what if, I was like, I think it's okay to make fun of white people. I'm like, but if we inserted any other race, that probably wouldn't be okay. And then me and my shitty brain, I was like, yeah, what if I was a black dude? And you were like, you're a blast, best black dude. And her face just went white. And she's like, no, I didn't, I didn't mean, I didn't mean like that. And I just started laughing. Uh, and then like the like director, who's this like Asian woman, was like, yeah, I don't think you should be calling people ginger. It's like derogatory. <laughs> <laughs> not, <laughs> yeah. not derogatory. No, yeah. I think pejorative, maybe. I don't even know what that means. Pejorative is like uh, Jewish in a sense where like it's not negative by itself, mm-hmm. but because people have used it negatively, it's like pejorative means like something mm-hmm. that isn't bad, but because of context, people uh, could like feel like you're saying it's bad. Pejorative. Pejorative. Word of the day. Yeah. With Zach. That's me. Hello. <laughs> So anyways, that's yeah. my little anecdote. Whenever people call me a ginger, I'm like, can I make you feel bad about this? <laughs> <laughs> Solid. So, that's, you know, it's pretty much one of my, like, life theses. It's like, how, how much can I make fun of somebody for this thing? How far can I push this? Mm, I see, I see. I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here, yeah, so yeah, yeah. there's... That's because you do well with it. <laughs> <laughs> you roll with it, and then you throw it back at me. Exactly. But in a business setting, afterwards, I apologize. She's like, I just didn't want to get fired. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, I work for myself. I, you know, what am I going to do? <laughs> but anyways, welcome, guys. This is yeah. our podcast. Welcome. This is a podcast where two besties chat about life. Gibber Gabberin. We give and we gab. We do. We have f- silly little things we talk to each other. We encourage tangents and rants. Yes. And we often will read your comments as well. Yes. And that's what we're going to do now. Yeah. Would you like, you want me to start with one of those? Sure, yeah. All right. So Diamond Lowkey wants to know, do you guys like karaoke and what uh, songs would you do? I like karaoke if... Only if everybody else is bad. I think mm. it is so annoying if you're a good singer and you mm. go to karaoke. Karaoke is mm. for us bad singers. Okay? Mm. Just go to an open mic night or go hang out with the other. But it's just so annoying when, like, you did really bad and everybody was fun. And, like, your friends are doing bad. And then somebody just walks up and they absolutely kill it. And it's <laughs> like, this isn't for you. You're allowed to just go sing out in public. This is for the bad people. Yeah. Um, my go-to karaoke song is Tequila. Uh, that's a great choice. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a crap favorite. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. I uh, I totally agree with that sentiment, <laughs> but I think that's the reason why I've actually not really ever participated in karaoke. No, um, because I always went to karaoke with friends that were stupid, it's talented, so annoying at singing, and they just like go up there to have it's their like little you're just trying to get talent show. Yeah. And you know what? Good for them. But I literally like I never actually had the gall to just go follow up and be silly just because like literally they were all just up there performing like crazy. And I've never actually done karaoke with like a group of just like fuck around silly friends that can't sing. And maybe I'd have a better experience, but I'd have to be pretty intoxicated. I think. Oh yeah. I mean, it's, I don't know. People who do sober karaoke, it's like, go to church, man. What are you doing? (laughs) (laughs) What are you doing here? (laughs) <laughs> I think I would do Mambo Number no. Five as That's my song one. choice because it's not really much a singy as it is. So I like tequila because there's only like yeah. six words in it and they're all tequila. <laughs> 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 <He's just> like <laughs> tequila. <laughs> or uh, I remember I had this one karaoke story. This was when I was still in the Bay Area being a business guy, and my boss, who was like just this biggest d bag guy, mm. he was like one of those like guys who like wanted to be cool. 
and like all of his party stories were his favorite stories. Uh. And so he would try to get us to go out. And then the few times we went out with him, he was like not having a good time because it turns uh. out like you can't, you know, let loose when you're the boss. Uh. And so we wound <laughs> up at this karaoke bar. And so I sang Fuck You by CeeLo Green. Yeah. And I was like pretty hammered at this point. I was oh like, no. I was 21, you know, and um, I dedicated it to him <laughs> <laughs> and then just kept making eye contact. It was like, fuck you. And eventually he left. <laughs> but the thing is, he had spent so long like being because he was like a British frat boy, like so many like business hours, like anecdotes about like how they can drink more and how they can party more and whatever. I feel like he wasn't allowed to say anything. And then mm. so he just left. And so. But uh, I didn't get hired at full time. They, they <laughs> promised me a full time job. <laughs> they did not bring me back. How sh- how shocking! <laughs> that is so <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> but I had fun. But then I, bet. I looked back later and I was like, Oh yeah, that was that, that is was a so lot. Funny. Just me drunk, just being like, and you're driving around town with a girl <laughs> I knew, and like, I get getting the whole bar to be like, Fuck you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Uh, do you have uh, something do you, you would go, like yeah, to you discuss? Go right left, right yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna well. say, I was like, should are we gonna do the comments every single time? I feel like generally, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go, yeah. Cool. cool. Good, I, if there is some, because I feel like it's pretty much the same type of stuff we would ask each yeah, other, anyways. Yeah, so totally. it, it works. So, um, okay. So, question for you. Okay. Uh, has this ever happened to you and or how do you feel about it? Okay. And uh, I have some thoughts as well. Okay. So okay. on dating apps, yes. sometimes you may have like a group photo or a photo with your friend mm-hmm. or someone else will. How do you feel about either asking that person about the friend or being <laughs> asked? So like, let's say I have a photo of you and me on, on a dating profile oh and then someone matches with me and they're like, hey, I'm just trying to get the contact information That's of her. Crazy. How do you feel about that overall? Has that ever happened to you? That's so funny. No, yeah. I don't do group photos um, on my profile. Yeah, it's always a lose. Ever. It's a lose lose. No, I don't <laughs> see. Also, too, I don't love seeing them just because I'm like, who are you? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. like, especially people, when they put it the first, and yeah. then you have to go through a few, and you're like hoping it'll be one of them, and then yeah, you know. uh, or like some people have like every single photo yeah. is group photos. Oh I'm like, God. I love that you have friends, friend, <laughs> yeah. but I don't who the know, fuck are who you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Um, so no, I have never like had somebody say that to me, mm-hmm. um, nor have I ever like had like said that to somebody yeah. like, Hey, your friend's kind of yeah. cute. <laughs> I just feel like that's kind of crazy to do. Have you? Well, I brought it up because <laughs> I saw like a TikTok about it and yeah. this is something I have thought about because, and maybe this is just like a gender generalization, but I do feel like most guys, if they were in that situation where somebody was like, Hey, what's your friend's info? I feel like they would pass it along, no issues. They'd just be like, yeah, let me help my help my homie out, like whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to take offense to that. Mm. However, I feel like when the situation is reversed, mm. I feel like the people are like upset or like, mm. no, you can't. But I generally think that like it's, I, I, I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's offensive. Like yeah. the way that I would think about it is like, oh, well, you're just a stranger who popped up on like a feed. Mm-hmm. It, chances are if your friend's on this app, they could have as well. Um, but I've never like had an interaction because I don't put group yeah, photos group on mine because it's just you're not gonna win. I mean, if you if you did and a girl was like saw one of your friends, would you be like, yeah, yeah, totally? Just, I would t- immediately yeah. take a screenshot <laughs> of their profile and send it to my friend, and if they said yes, I would match, and then I would give them the information. Rock on! But I th- I saw one and it was um. I think it was like somebody asking for, I think like a girl asking for a guy and they pass it along. But I'm like, I'm like, oh, I, I, I'm curious what Dorothy thinks, what other girls yeah. think. Like if anyone would ever like, but I feel like most women would not react favorably to that. No, <laughs> um, no, I think generally no. Yeah. But I also think like, yeah, girl, that's why you don't put group photos. Like if you don't want yeah. that comment to happen. I like just don't even see how it would be like offensive. Like I guess it is like in essence a rejection. But That's it's really why why they're but it's also it. just like, like oh, you like her more than me. Yeah, but it's like one, you put it out there. Two, why not help your friend out? Yeah, you know if your friend is interested. Yeah, and three, I it's like you know who cares. I think you though don't have such a inflated ego because I do think there'd be plenty of men of men that like would that be too. Like, yeah, who the what the fuck she yeah, thinks she is true. like messaging me about this yeah. guy like I'm gonna pet you know maybe I just don't hang out with those guys because every guy I've yeah. talked to about this they're like yeah sure yeah. Like, well, yeah, oh I, my friend yeah totally. your friends are anything like you yeah. I imagine <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, like, it's like you're literally a stranger like whatever like uh, uh, my ego is not so small that it's like 
you have to send your internet likes to me. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, like, let me see if my buddy's interested. Like, yeah. who, who cares? Yeah. So that's what Generally, I, I feel like group photos are not the most flattering photos of me anyway. So I, I, would, I wouldn't be eager to use those photos yeah, I don't for see, that reason, Yeah, I don't see too. what the benefit is because it's like yeah. the, the best case scenario is somebody looked at the group photo and was hoping it was you. Yeah. That's the best case. But you're presenting with an opportunity yeah. to be compared to someone they might like better. Yeah. I will say I have seen some profiles of men where I'm like, your friend <laughs> is cute, but yeah, I, I've totally. never bothered to like I, say anything. I have yet, I've yet to successfully do it, but I have in the past been like, hey, like, s- just so res- you seem really great, respectfully. <laughs> is your friend interested? <laughs> but I've yet, I've yet to ever like had a successful like. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've done it maybe like two or three times, and I'm like, I don't think this is gonna go over well. Did, what do they respond? They don't. Or well, they, they just don't. don't? I, I've yet to have someone respond. Oh. I had someone not too long ago that matched with me and they had a cute friend in their profile but i didn't have the courage i, I wanted to just send be like hey thank you so much for the match <laughs> you friend <laughs> your friend <laughs> what do you think they're immediately removing that yeah. photo from their profile after here. you're messaging Goodbye. them <laughs> yeah i just don't see well <laughs> that's so funny though. that's a great question um gabby telfer wants to know if you switch lives with each other for one week what would be the first three things that you do you were me and I was you. I'd cuddle with your cats because Biscuit does not like to cuddle. Mm. Or, or occasionally, he'll, he'll like, if I'm laying in bed, occasionally he'll come like sit near mm-hmm. me. But your cats, I feel like you could just like pick yes. up and just be like. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. So that'd be the first one. Second one, I would go see your family. <laughs> 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 just like dick around. <laughs> just be a part of that. Uh, and then third, I'd probably just like go walk around and like be hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably just go and like have people like buy me expensive things and be like, yeah, this, yeah. this is right. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would probably just see like what uh, all the most audacious things I could do as a white man. Oh, you could get away with a lot. Yeah. So yeah. Um, obviously, like I would like be walking around at night like crazy in all the neighborhoods. Oh, like 100%. I don't even care. Yeah. Um, I would uh, obviously hang out with Biscuit, but that's, you know. Yeah. W- I mean, I would just do that, of <laughs> course, anyways. Um, I'd probably helicopter dick just once. Got to do it. Just, just, to, just yeah, I mean, I, I'd, have to, I'd have to do one of these. You know? Yeah. Just also, once. dare I say, yeah. I, uh, you know, I've just always been curious about. You'd hook up with somebody? What is this like <laughs> you'd, as a man? You'd want to test it out? I, maybe. Because I've always been a little curious. From uh, yeah. A man's would that ruin our friendship, it, though? Oh, <laughs> to, to like to oh, like I, I didn't really think about it like to that. like to to then know like how we conduct ourselves oh. as each other in sexual situations but it, were you you're not because i'm conducting right but but i'm saying would, would it make it so we like irrevocably <laughs> that's interesting can't look at each other the same way because it's because now i'd be like well i know how you fuck and you know how i fuck because i you fucked as me where you right, had some type of Freaky Friday mm, sexual experience. That, that <laughs> but I did think about that. I but think, it, yeah, I'm, I think I'm I glad you went there because I was like, I'm going to say PG. Maybe just like no mirrors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I I was always curious like my whole life. I'm like, what does sex feel like for like people right. with vaginas? But I remember I asked some, I asked like a long-term relationship once. And looking back, I'm like, made me realize like, oh, maybe I just don't do it for you. Because I was oh, like, oh, what does it feel say? like? I'm like, does it feel good or whatever? And she's like, it just feels like pressure. Kind of like response pressure. is that? And then I was like, oh, okay. And but looking back, I'm like, yeah, maybe we just were not compatible because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to feel nice, yeah. not just feel just like pressure. a pressure. <laughs> yeah. But she was like Fort Knox of like or- orgasm. It was like it was exceedingly difficult. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Interesting. But uh hope you're well. She's not listening to this. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> yeah, so that and um, I'd maybe just try to like walk into some random establishment, and just get a job on the spot. Oh, yeah. Like just to see. If I've done that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got politely catcalled the other day. Oh. And then I was like, uh, I was like, oh, I was like, I forgot because I cut my hair. How, yeah. How so? Uh, I was walking by. Mm-hmm. I was walking down the street on Hollywood Boulevard and I had my music in mm-hmm. and I just see people waving at me and they're like inside this bar that like, you know, faces outside. And it's these three women, and I look over at them, and they're just like blowing me kisses. Were they older women? No, they were like roughly my age. Okay. Although older women. I know. <laughs> That's why. <what I> <laughs> yes. No, they were they were they were definitely like under thirty. Yeah. Around they were there. giving you kisses. Yeah, they give me like little hearts and kisses oh, and stuff. And, and okay. I was like, I was like, oh, 
I was like, this is what women would appreciate if their cat calls were like this. If they were like, hey, Dorothy, or they did, they'd be like, hey, girl, and they're just, and then that's it. <laughs> Over, no further conversation. And I could tell they wanted me to like come in and talk to them and stuff, but I was like, I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm not stopping. I'm not giving us any chance for this interaction to be unpleasant. Well. But you could you could experience that as me. I could. You could experience a positive a cat call. A sweet cat call. Yeah, because I don't think a lot of guys get cat called. I think maybe that's my pretty privilege. No, uh, yeah, no, I, I would say most most yeah. don't. <laughs> I think it's a ginger thing. Yeah. Yeah, because they were Latin. Oh, is that is yeah, that like a? It's a big thing. Is that like a common? Yeah, they like us down interest? there. Interest. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you're from Latin America. Can confirm or deny. I feel like we've mentioned we this have. actually. Well, because well, it's before. my it's my like anecdotal experience. Like whenever yeah. I go down there, like people, I'm like inordinately like grabbed. Oh. And I, I think I told that story when I was with all like my buff bosses who yes, were like really rich. I do recall and this. They, like part of them, and I was like, out of everybody, like these, these guys, like they look tall you and the rich. Ginger hair. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So how do you feel? How do you feel about In and Out? Hmm. Um. So. Burgers are yummy. Yeah. Okay. Not life changing, but <sighs> addicting in a way where you have it and then you're like, oh, I could go for that again. Yeah. But like, not like it's the best burger you've ever had. The fries are absolutely trash. Oh, the worst 100%. things ever, yeah. worst fries ever known to man. If you like them, you're lying to yourself. Yeah. Um, and I also don't like the milkshakes. They're a little too malty All right. for me. But burgers. All right. What, what, what would be your burger spot in LA if you had to pick? Honestly, like I, I wouldn't mind like in and out mm -hmm. or like I feel like all of them kind of hit the spot for me, to be honest. Like five guys is fine with me too. literally all of them. Okay. I mean, I'm not. I, I don't well, I bring up in and out because uh, they have like raised their prices. Oh. And I was curious if you had any thoughts. They've, it's like because I'm from California, like I've lived my whole life here. Mm -hmm. So like I grew up on in and out. I went the other night and I ordered a number one, which is what I usually order. It's a double double combo yeah it's over ten dollars now what was it before uh when i was growing up it was like 4.95 oh wow but i think recently it was like eight dollars something but they finally inflation finally got in and out damn yeah yeah i unfortunately just feel like that's I, um, it's not surprising yeah. at this point which is everything's so expensive yes and the salaries have not gone up no the boomers man yeah sorry if you're a boomer and you're listening to this your generation fucked us. <laughs> <laughs> I can't work for one summer and afford to go to college and buy a car. <laughs> I can't support a family off an entry level position and buy a house. Not even. I mean, think of how great that would be. Close, right? Yeah, you used to make like 37 grand, and comparatively now that's like over six figures. Yeah. It's been so interesting because I've been seeing all the videos where people are talking about how like, our generation, the generation younger than us, how we spend our money more frivolously, mm -hmm. fr frivolously, frivolously, because we have like, we just assume that like buying a house <laughs> yeah, is just not, not even happen. a possibility. Yeah. So we're just like, may as well travel, may as well go shopping. I know. <laughs> yeah, I've been like saving more money recently and I'm like, I don't even, what's this for? Where's this? There's no way I'm going to be able to afford something. Yeah. Every day I'm like, okay, Dorothy, well, you're, you're closer to 30 yeah. now than like what it feels like yesterday. I was like, what, how old was I at the beginning of the pandemic? It feels like that was like yesterday where I was like yeah. 23 and I was like, that's like a future Dorothy <laughs> thing. <laughs> and now I'm like, okay, well, I guess these are things that typically individuals yeah. are thinking about now. Totally. That's Am how I, I feel. I'm going to be 30 this year. I'm like, yeah. I think historically I'm supposed <laughs> to be married and like have a kid <laughs> by now or something. And I'm just out here like, should I get another cat? Could you see yourself being like a dad like right now? Of a human? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like I'm just too depressed to raise a child. <laughs> I, I feel like I would I'd just give him my sad genes, you know? It'd grow up and it'd be like, Dad, why am I sad all the time? I'm like, I haven't figured it out either. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, why did you bring me into this world? And I'm like, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> this is for a podcast. For so real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I felt that another cat thing. Um, you want a third cat? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. But I just like that being a thought process rather than oh. a human child. Yeah. 
Um, so because we were talking about religion so much last time, Jojo Ginger asked, in the Christian spirit, what food and beverage would your worshipers use to celebrate you? Like, what's your bread and wine? Oh. Yeah. Wow, that's a good question. You right? I thought so, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel like it'd be a little bit of like sparkling water. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, maybe just like a nice sourdough loaf. Yeah. Everybody just gets a nice freshly baked loaf. Yum. But I guess like more jokingly, maybe like a warhead. What? <laughs> you don't know the warhead game? I, of course I know warheads. <laughs> That's why I said what? I was just trying just to think of what? Just to fuck with people? Yeah, like, they just yeah, have to, just, yeah, their yeah. faces with... Don't make a face or you don't believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And be like, if you want to climb higher in the church, like, you have to, like, what was it called? Like, Chunky Bunny? You have to just keep stuffing the warheads in oh your mouth. Oh, my And then, like, <laughs> my, like, acolytes, it's, like, 10. My priests, it's, like, 20. It's, like, a bishop, so it's, like, 100. And they're just walking around. Just <laughs> what kind of religion is this? <laughs> Uh, cool. One. Zach's worshippers <laughs> just have an extremely high tolerance for sour candy. Yeah, they just all have like burned holes in the roof of their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that is so twisted. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess matcha because they I really only do that. water and matcha, so probably yeah. matcha. Um, and I think bread too. Like yeah. I, that's what I thought. I was like, I love bread yeah. so much. Can't go wrong with bread. Yeah, just like really yummy, like Italian baguette. Oh, yeah. Title of your sex. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you started it with helicopter oh dick. My, my answer was like so wholesome, and then you were like, "I want to be. I want to know what it's like to have a dick and fuck." Oh, I. Mean, but that's fair. I guess I. It's, you the, were. It would be a better answer. You were thinking it if it was just like if I was a guy for a week rather than you yeah. specifically. Yeah. <laughs> But it's okay. But we, we we could just have like a like a Vegas kind of rule. It's like because we wouldn't have those memories, you know. Yeah, I guess not. So and it, yeah, just be mm -hmm. safe. <laughs> <laughs> don't be don't be picking up some lady <laughs> of the some night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. Okay, so yes, this is another <laughs> one I got. Yeah. So it's uh, I guess how do you feel about it? And like we could put ourselves in both situations. Mm -hmm. So at the TikTok, it was like, uh, it was like a, I think a girl talking about her and a boyfriend at the airport or whatever. Okay. One of them had pre-checked. I think the boyfriend had pre-checked and she did not. <laughs> yeah. And she wanted him to like stay with her through regular security. Mm -hmm. And then the comments were kind of like divided on yeah. it. So how do you feel about that? One, if you, I already kind of know what you're going to say, but like one, if you're <laughs> the one with the pre-check and your partner's doesn't yeah. and then flip it. Like, do you care? Would you want them to hang out with you? Would you be like, we can meet up later? Like, what are your thoughts? This is a great question for me because I've actually been in that scenario oh, yeah? multiple times. So I have clear and pre-check. Why do you have both? So, because they actually stack perfectly. So if you do, there's a clear pre-check line and there's a clear no pre-check line. Right. And it you literally just like bleeds I'm, through. I'm, I'm pre-check, but not clear. Oh, man. I mean, it's just, it's a game changer. Like, there's no line. You're just walking yeah. straight through. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I've been in the position where I've like been with people, not even like a partner, but I've been with people Group that trip. don't have anything. And I usually do just stay with them. I I think I did it once mm -hmm. where I literally didn't. I just went through. But then you're like waiting for them on the other yeah, side. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I feel like um, if I was with somebody, I actually I don't think I would really care yeah. either way. So um, if you, like if, if I did, didn't, if you didn't, and they and had they it. did, I don't think I would actually really care either way. I don't think you would. I don't think you would. Um, yeah. Because uh, you know, I'd be like, you should just buy it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's cheap too. Yeah, I mean, pre-check is like yeah, it's stupid a, it's cheap. Like eighty bucks for like five years. Yeah. Um, Clear is more expensive though. It is. I feel like it's like. What, like 20 a month or no? Uh, it's yearly. Okay, so do you want to hear a funny story? Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully he's not watching this, but um, like like two or three exes ago, yeah, um, we <laughs> <laughs> he got clear for both of us, yeah. Um, I'm still using it, 
He's paying for it. I don't know <laughs> if he just didn't doesn't realize. It still, just, yeah, I mean, it probably only like upgrades like once per year, and like maybe he just thinks it's his. Yeah. Wow. Or maybe he's just hoping one day, eventually, I'll be like, "Well, you paid for my clear." Wow, all these it's been years. five years of clear. Like you <laughs> couldn't commit to me, but you committed to this. Come back. You know. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So that's. I actually don't know how much it is because I've never paid <laughs> for. Every year, I'm just shocked that I uh, yeah. every flight I just nice. get in smoothly. Yeah, so I've been, been thinking great. about like it's a couple hundred a year, I think. Yeah, it's it's like one of those. And the thing is, I've been having more and more issues with pre-check lately, where like I've been going to airports and they're like, no pre-check, sorry. But clear, yeah. clear is always up because I feel like clear, since it's like its own business. Yeah, they they have their own like contracts with the airport, but then pre-check is through TSA. So like mm-hmm. sometimes they just shut it down. I'm like, what's the point of this? Yeah, and some like smaller airports don't have clear, but they're expanding now more. Yeah. But especially too for early flights, like a lot of times none of that stuff's even open. Like for yeah. early flights, they only have the regular line. You still have yeah. to wait no matter what. Um, well, maybe I'll sign up, get a little I free, honestly, free trial. Like yeah, they have like a, I think a ninety day. I, I think I did that and then trial. I canceled it because I wound up like not using it. But uh, yeah, that way we can we can be same line buddies. You know, in August. I yeah. Yeah, but well, I have pre-check, so we can still. Yeah, I, I mean, at LAX it's totally is usually pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. There's usually a line. It depends on what lines. airline, I think. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I forget who we're. Flying yeah, on. with um, American, it's usually pretty smooth, but like Delta is crazy. Yeah. So it really depends, but Delta I sucks. I do love the combo of clear pre check. But yeah, I think a couple that times so I've, I've traveled, you know, I like I love. <laughs> I, Being bougie. I would pay for it if he still, you know, if yeah. he wasn't still, I would totally do it because yeah. I just well, love. You fly a lot um, too. Yeah, I I just love convenience. Like mm. I'm happy to pay for. Yeah, I'm glad I pre check. Like it's so nice to like not have to take off your shoes and yeah. like you can leave your electronics in the bag. Yeah. Because I have anxiety in like lines. So like I'm much better about it now. But like grocery store, like I would have the most anxiety. And Ooh. like especially in San Francisco, like it's it's like culturally rude kind of to like make them bag your stuff. Oh. So it's like usually you go do it. It's okay. like think like Trader Joe's or like early Lyft vibes. Okay. That was like the Bay Area where it was like, oh, yeah, we're all just people. So I get like so fucking nervous with the bagging and stuff. And same thing with the airports. So like as I would approach the front of the line, I'd be ready to go. Like belt would be undone, uh-huh. shoes would yeah, be yeah, off, yeah, yeah, yeah. bag would be open because like I didn't want anyone to wait. But then yeah. you get stuck behind someone. And it's like, how do you yeah, not care? I know. Though honestly, it they make the environment just so stressful. Yeah. And but it also even do too, anything. like there is always the people that it's like, have you never been through yeah. a TSA uh, whoa, line in your oh, entire I have to take out my laptop? Uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. oh, honey. But and they're taking like it. And it's not even old people. Like, yeah. that's the thing. It's no. like there's plenty of young people. And I'm like, oh, you clearly have never gone through. But speaking you know. of exes, are there <laughs> is there any ex in your life that you, like if circumstances were different, you'd be like, yeah, we no, can give it. <laughs> <laughs> or one that it's like, you know, if there was a certain or- no. ordering of. Nope. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I would be happiest if I never saw any of them ever again, ever. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah. I think for a long time there was this one that uh, like just really like messed me up and like kind of strung me along and I was like super into and they like got married to the person they were with like before me. And I think for years it was, I was like still held out like, mm. well, like if any, but yeah. no, yeah, no. What about you guys in the comments? Are you still waiting around for somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Are you waiting for them to come back and if, say all the right things? Oh, man. <laughs> so this is kind of related to that. Desi Adams said, do you have an interesting story of a horrible experience on a date or in an outing with friends and family? <clears throat> Maybe I told you this a long time ago. I don't remember the story because it's been so many years. Did I ever tell you about that date? I went on with that like that like girl who was like really into demons and like would like walk around graveyards and stuff. I don't think I remember that. Well, I don't remember. I don't remember all the specifics of the story because it was so long ago. But I remember I was meeting this person years and years ago, and we were gonna grab like a drink or like coffee or something like that. And like there was like a little bit of scheduling, and then we wound up uh, going to meet in like the later afternoon. Um, and I was like, oh, like you know, we could 
go get coffee then, you know, because it's a little early, whatever. And they were like, oh, like, actually, like, I, I don't have any money. And I was like, okay, like, no worries. Like, we can just, like, meet up and set. So we agreed to, like, meet at this, like, park near her house. <laughs> and she was, like, an artist, so she was going to, like, draw. Okay. And at the time, I was getting more into photography. So I was like, oh, like, I'll take some photos of, like, the sunset and the scenery and whatever. And okay. then we can, like, chat, you know, just kind of hang out, yeah. whatever. As soon as I'm walking up, I'm like, the vibes are so strange. Because it was, like, this long cul-de-sac. So I'm, like, really, like, having to, like, walk <laughs> up. And they're just sitting on the stairs, like, drawing. <laughs> and they, like, do not acknowledge my presence until I'm, like, right in front of them. I'm like, hi. They were dressed. Not that there's anything wrong with this. But they were dressed like like an Amish person. Okay. Like, the longest skirt. Like, really long sleeve. Then, like, a vest over it. Like, power plaid clashing. Whatever. We go on this little hike. We wound up like climbing up these like little rocks and we're hanging out, we're chatting, whatever. The vibes are a little weird. And then somehow we get on the topic of like going on walks and she's like, oh, like I like to walk like late at night. I'm like, oh, okay. And she's <laughs> like, yeah, there's actually like this graveyard like right over here that I like to walk through. And then you know me, like I will always assume <laughs> that we're doing a bit <laughs> until <laughs> proven otherwise. So I go like, oh, like are you not worried about like the spirits? Like you're desecrating their graves. And she's like, no, I'm not worried. I was like, well, why not? Like, what what if a demon wants to, like, possess you? And she's like, well, I'm stronger than every demon. And I was like, oh. And she's like, yeah, well, I've literally seen my sister get possessed before. So, to, And I was like, hold on, hold on. Back up. <laughs> Back up. So what happened? Then we go on this huge thing, and she tells me how, like, she is power, more powerful than every other demon because a demon has, like, no soul or no body, and it's trying to take over you. And then she tells me about, like, her whole, like, past childhood it like sounds like she was on like a commune with like 10 siblings 10 12 oh. siblings told me how their their dream was to like make it to the moon and that's why they came down to LA because uh Elon Musk was like you know doing <laughs> space stuff they were living with this couple that didn't make them pay rent but clearly wanted to be like a thruple with them and like it just was like the weirdest freaking thing at one point we're like just hanging out and I think I had brought, like, a couple of beers just in case, like, we felt like it, like, whatever. I was, like, really in my, like, beer era. Like, yeah. Like, oh, you know, it's 7 o'clock. Like, I'll have a beer. Um, and at one point, she, like, gets up and goes to walk away, does not say anything. And I'm like, oh, okay. She just leaves, comes back a little bit later, and I'm like, did you have a good walk? Does not respond, sits back down, pretends like nothing happens. In hindsight, I think she got up to like go take a leak, <laughs> like, but just like <laughs> the no context. What? Eventually, the date ends, whatever. And at this point, like I'm just having fun being like, "What? Do, what do you yeah, believe? Like, right, tell me about you." Right. She tells me that she does not believe in money and like taxes. And then I'm like, "Well, how are you gonna like pay? How are you gonna be a person? Exists. How are you gonna how are you gonna exist?" Yeah. Uh, and that's why she didn't want to go get coffee or go do anything because she has no money. <laughs> <laughs> How does she eat? I, I, <laughs> I guess th this, 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 this thruple. thruple yeah. <laughs> so then at the end of the day, whatever, she's like, oh, like, I'd really love to do this again. And like, I was just polite. And I was like, hey, you seem really great. But like, honestly, like, I think we're just like <laughs> at, at two different life stages. Like, yeah. I, I'm trying to make money and like you <laughs> don't believe in it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, but this has a happy story because years later, eventually she like left. And I think we would like stay in touch just like through social media, like just like what's up with this person? Like, yeah, <laughs> Cur mere curiosity. Yeah, you know, I really wish you the best. Like, if you want to make it to the moon, like you I know? want that for you. Um, and then I think she, I think they were up in like the Pacific Northwest for a little bit, whatever. Anyways, they moved back down to L.A. Uh, and somehow we like wind up connecting. Whatever we like grab lunch. They are now like the norm, most normal person. Oh, and then they they were like, yeah, actually, I wanted to thank you. They're like, after you like rejected me, like I couldn't, I couldn't fathom that somebody would like reject me. And like they were a very like conventionally attractive person. Uh -huh. uh, and like they had told me about their dating experience. And like obviously, like if you're an attractive girl you in any get away city, with a lot. yeah, you could literally be like, <laughs> I am the reincarnation of Buddha. <laughs> and guys will be like, All right, Hell you think yeah, Buddha? I'm, blah, blah, blah. I'm yeah. Buddhist. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she's like, Yeah, I just couldn't believe it. And she's like, So yeah, I like took a hard look and I realized that like. I did not like where I was, and so she like went back to school or like you know started doing all. That. And I was like, really? You were like a pivotal moment yeah, I guess in so. this person's life. But I remember like for years when everybody anybody was like, "Do you have a weird dating story?" I was like, "Let me tell you about this demon girl." <laughs> and I used to have more specifics like of all the wild shit she said because there's some really. But she's doing well now. That's Haven't spoke great. to her in a while, but we we met up, and I was like, "Hey, I'm I'm just really glad you're like doing better and like hey, you're wow. happy in life." 
So that's my long story. That is a great story, <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it was really weird. That is so unique. And I was like, I'm not trying to get involved in this like weird thruple thing going on. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I had to move because like they really just wanted to like yeah. have sex with me. And I'm like, yeah, nobody invites like a 20 something year old to come live with them for free. Yeah, that you're not like a relative of. Yeah, it's interesting because um, to kind of curve off of that, my experience on dating apps, which by the way, like every week I'll download it and then I delete it, and, and that's I ju- and I just never <coughs> actually go on any what have you been, dates with it. What have you been? Which app have you been? I had with? done like Bumble, but then I deleted it, and then yeah. I re-downloaded Hinge, and then I deleted it again. Yeah. So that's I literally don't ever go on dates on them. I just download it, and I'm like, ha, and then I'm like, this is not my priority right yeah. now, and then I delete it. I'll get but a little high and send voice memos to strangers. <laughs> 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 like that's that's my dating app. Your entertainment. Yeah, for the yeah. Day. you know, it's like I'll like once a week I boot it up, and I'm like, all right, well, what kind of weird shit can I say? <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's funny. gotten me into a little bit of trouble. I, bro, that's yeah. so funny. I um I noticed that because uh, people ask me like, oh well, on your thing, do you have like just men or women and men that you're interested in? But when I open it up to women too, I only get thruples. I yeah. only get couples that are looking for a third. Yeah. On the and it's of course the women's profile that are like seeking out the girls they want to pick. Yeah. And that's, that's it. So I, I never actually get like normal. That's um, what I've heard from my like women. femme friends that are looking for like girls. Yeah. They're like it's just horrendous. Like yeah. they recommend like just setting looking to women because mm. they're they're like if you keep it open to both it'll be like ninety nine percent guys. Interesting. Yeah. And yeah, that's very true. Yeah, I've been thinking about um, just like putting really like audacious things mm-hmm. on my profile just to see oh, yeah. who bites, like particularly for Mine's men that meme. just want to like spend money. Like I, I thought about <laughs> doing like just just like I, I, one of my things is like uh, the the way to my heart is and it just says gifts. Yeah. And it's funny because like 99% of men will completely ignore that yeah. thing. But the ones that do will respond and be like, Dior Chanel G Wagon. Yeah. What's your pick of choice? And I thought about just like really honing in on that and being like, yeah. you can take me out if you send me a thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, I'm fi- <laughs> you could just put your Venmo, be like, what's your, it'd be like, yeah, <laughs> Venmo me to tell me you're serious. That's so funny. But this leads me into, into me. one of the things I want to talk about. Yeah. And it was like first date protocols. Yeah. And um, I saw this TikTok and I think someone was stitching it, but it was this girl. And she's like, she's like, if you're between like 20 and like 28 and you're not and you can't drop like two hundred dollars on a first date, like you should not be dating. And then obviously that was like polarizing because it was like, what the fuck? So especially based off what you just said, I'm curious how you feel about first dates. Like, what do you think about that kind of stuff? And I have a story I can share afterwards of this person that ultimately like wound up like blocking me (laughs) because I (laughs) I said I wasn't interested in going to like this 10 course like. $500 Five hundred dollar oh. thing, yeah. I'll tell. I'll tell you about it. Oh, that's but I'm curious, like, what you think about that, like, and like, kind of your thoughts and stuff, because I, I see both sides. Yeah. Funny enough, I was going to ask you um, mm-hmm. the same question. So, I mean, for me, when it comes to like going on a date with a guy for the first date, I just want him to pay. I don't care if it's like a parameter of like, mm-hmm. like, like it has to be like a two hundred dollar, whatever, whatever, just whatever it is, whatever yeah. we're doing. Um, mostly just because I think that. Uh, a guy that actually is really into me will want to like Mm -hmm. it will just be his natural inclination to want to and if he doesn't if he wants to do 50 50 i will just pay the bill and not go on a second date yeah (laughs) and and that's fine because like that's just then i just assume like you're not that into me or you maybe like just need to work on your money more which is fine like go do that <laughs> um, <laughs> what about for first dates like for you like does that have to be dinner or like how do you feel about like coffee like, no um yeah i know the coffee thing is like so it's controversial so, yeah. um, I've, I've always been a, a pro coffee guy now i I'm think like, it, oh, wow. it depends yeah. on if it's like a dating app thing i don't mind coffee just because it's an easy out yeah like, if i don't I fucking know you and it's weird after coffee 10 can minutes, be 20 like, minutes it can yeah. be short exactly. and we can get out and then if we like each other, coffee can lead to an activity Absolutely. afterwards. So I'm not against it if I've never met you before. But if I have <laughs> met you already and we're like going on a date, um, I yeah, I would I would be like a dinner's fine. I I love like when guys pitch like fun activities yeah. like. 
um, you know, whatever. Like I, I had somebody recently that took me um, go karting and then to like this nice dinner with like a burlesque show that was happening nice. afterwards. What and was it, it was just uh, it was a couple of weeks ago. Don't worry oh, about it. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so behind. <laughs> But um, mm. I think that's that's fun, too. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be like expensive per se. But I just yeah. want to see that you're as a man taking the initiative to like plan something. Yeah. And and take care of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm of the same mindset. I yeah. well, for me, dating was tough, especially when I like began my acting career because I just had no money. Mm-hmm. So it was like I really just like I can't afford to drop a couple hundred dollars yeah. on someone that I don't even know if Girlfriends I'm going to like. Expensive. Yeah. Dates are expensive. They really are. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, similarly, like I like to pay, like just like that, just kind of like how I was raised, mm-hmm. I can, especially on like a first date kind of thing. Yep. But like, I understand where people are coming from, like both sides of it, where it's like, you know, I would never want to be in a position where I feel like someone is just like using me for my money yeah. or like a free meal. Yeah. However, I, both people, there are ways for both individuals to show that they are like putting forth effort and like initiating and like wanting to like spend time and get to know the person. Yeah. But my story, very interestingly about this, is like I matched with this girl on this like dating app, and she was like very attractive. And like the thing that I liked, it was like the way to my heart. It was like dinner and drinks, and I liked that. And then she started the conversation, so I was like, oh, okay, eventually it'll get there. And I have no problems, especially now that I'm older. Like I, I can appreciate like a dinner. Like I can appreciate like spending quality time with somebody. Um, but normally I like things similar to you, like that are just more chill, you yeah. know, like, because we're totally strangers. And what if we like really don't like yeah. each other? Like, <laughs> I don't want to be spending a lot of time. If it's like, Oh God, this is so bad. Yeah. So coffee or drinks or like an activity or something like that's yeah. it's an easy app. But this person, we were like chatting for a little bit and I was like, okay, so like, have you been craving anything recently? And they were like French, which first of all, that should have been my first word. <laughs> <laughs> Who craves French food? That you is know, very like, specific. I'm like, what? And they like live downtown. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So like I suggested, I looked up a couple places. I suggested a place that had like really like pretty good reviews. It was like maybe mid-tier, like maybe like, you know, like $40, $50 an entree for like downtown. That's like kind of kind of in the yeah. middle. Um, and I was like, oh, like how do you feel about this? And they were like, oh, that place sucks. It's so bland. Okay. And then they like suggested another place. <laughs> and then I went and looked it up and it was like one of those multi-course kind of things. Yeah. It's like starts at like $200. Wow. And so, and like things, I don't like French food. Like I'm, a, yeah. I'm like, a, I'm like a mildly like allergic to like fish. Okay. So like most French food is like kind of out the door. So I was like not excited about it. Yeah. I was already kind of sensing these vibes. Yeah. So they said, I sent them a voice memo. I was like, Hey, like, you know, like I really appreciate this. I was like, uh, I was like, but honestly, like I'm just going to be fully transparent. Like, I'm not comfortable like going to such like like an elevated experience with someone I don't know. Yeah. And I was like, please don't like feel embarrassed about like the cost. Like it's not a reflection of that. Um, I just typically tend to reserve those experiences for someone whose company I know like we'll both enjoy. Yeah. And then I offered a couple of alternatives, like her profile. We'd also talked about like Mediterranean, Mexican, and Italian. And all of those I was like, would have been fine with. I was like, well, how do you feel about this? Or like maybe going to get tapas and stuff. And I was like, but also, like, no worries. Like, I understand that, like, some people, like, you know, like, especially off dating apps and in a dating experience, like, this is a way to kind of, like, vet, you know, people who are interested or not interested, whatever. And she just was like, nope, no thanks. And then <laughs> you're broke and then blocked me. And I was just like, what in the world? She's really looking for somebody to take her to I that, so. that five-course French meal. <laughs> but, like, I, I, I mean, I, I don't understand even from, like, a girl's perspective. Yeah. Like, I understand, like, wanting someone that can, like, provide... And like take care, but like to me, I feel like you're doing yourself a disservice by because there are guys out there that will do that yeah. and are maybe expecting things because of the monetary value they're yeah. putting up. But I'm like, I the f- no food is good enough for me to want to spend an evening <laughs> with someone I don't know and yeah. potentially dislike. <laughs> yeah, like I had, like when they're like, oh, like you get a good meal. I'm like, I would never go on a date for a free meal. When I know the date's gonna suck, yeah, 100%. like I value my time more yeah. than that. But I guess other people don't feel that way. Yeah, like they just want good food. That's I'm a like, great point I'm because like, so I always think about it from the perspective of like I wouldn't, I wouldn't just go on a date for free food. Like I'd rather yeah. just go out to eat by myself because totally, I yeah. know it's good company. But I do know like there's women that will literally just like go on a bunch of first dates. Yeah, 
um, just to get like a bunch of. Or in her case, we'll only go on dates with people who will drop several hundred dollars. (laughs) And then I'm like that for me, I don't get it because I'm like, sure, I understand that it at least is showing you that this person can afford that. Yeah. But there's so much more important things, in my opinion. And two, like. Somebody could also like not have money and just throw that on credit and is looking That's to like very impress true. you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I yeah. guess uh, the only conclusion I could come to is like she couldn't afford that meal herself and was <laughs> that's, looking for that's someone to do. That's honestly what it seems like. She's yeah. just asking every guy until yeah. one is like, "Yeah, I'll and take like, you there, uh, baby." Yeah, I just uh, I think maybe that's where I struggle <laughs> in dating apps because the thing is like I like to take care of the people in my life. Yeah, very much so. Sometimes too much, and but the thing is I don't do that with strangers. Yeah. And I have to like you have to become important yeah. to me first. A hundred percent. So when I whenever I run into women that are like more like I guess like financially oriented off off the start, I feel like it automatically like puts up a roadblock. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, I'm like I have no problem with it, but like you are a stranger to me. Like yeah. I'm not all I'm not going to start supporting. <laughs> you and making you feel valued yeah. v- via money just because that's important to you when you're yeah. a fucking stranger or people will be like I had one girl that was like hey like are you gonna pay for my nails before the date and I was like no oh, wow. no I'm not like like <gasps> if we have a date like I'm happy to call you a car to and from the <laughs> restaurant I'm happy to pay for the restaurant but like I just we we don't fucking know each other bro and I don't know how they don't get embarrassed <laughs> You know, I, I see I see a lot of stuff like yeah. that nowadays, too, um, with just like the narrative that's it's very much just like kind of sugar sprinkle. daddy. Yeah, yeah, very, very like sugar daddy, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, honestly, you know, I, I give these ladies a lot of credit because mm-hmm. they really do find men that will yeah. do these things. I'm sure they find I, them. I honestly like I wish I had more gall to yeah. like say shit like that because I'm like so the opposite of that. Like yeah. I'll literally never ask and totally. just hope that like <laughs> like stupid shit like that will be offered. Not yeah. nails, but like whatever. Yeah. Um, See, it's funny to me because I'm like I would be more than happy to do that after for my girlfriend. Them. Exactly. But I'm like I'm not going to do that for a stranger. Yeah. And then I always laugh because I'm like you don't, you don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know the you kind of treatment know you, that yeah, you could you miss, get yeah. if I just knew you. If I knew you. Yeah. No, that's a that's the thing, too, is like, I feel like the first interaction is mm. what is like me. Mm. It, it is literally showing both of us. Yeah. Like, oh, the value we see in this mm-hmm. other person or not. So that's why, like, I, I don't put a ton of pressure on the first date too, ever yeah. because I, I feel like, okay, like we're you're just meeting a stranger. Yeah. We're figuring it out. But then after that, if you yeah. don't think like I am the bee's knees and you want to just give me the entire world, then yeah. no, totally fair. Then and you just don't like me. It's fine. 100%. <laughs> and I, f- I feel the same way too. When like girls are being like, mm, I'm like, I'm like, listen, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm like, come on. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to start throwing out that rhetoric, but like high, high I'm a catch high value. That's right. You, ca- you can't just be like, Oh, doo-doo. I'm like, you're looking for somebody else. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I literally just tweeted, like, I'm not doing nonchalant people. Like, oh, I yeah. need you to have all the chalant oh, 100%. about me. You I tell people that. I'm chalant. like, I'm a Leo. <laughs> if, if you're not going to compliment me and, like, say nice things to me, like, it's not going to work. Right? Like, um, I went I went out not too long ago with this, like, did I tell you about this, like, Capricorn person I went out with where, mm. like, the vibes were a little off. Like, we were, like, going to this bar, and I was familiar with the area. So I was like giving them parking recommendations okay. and I saw them drive past. I was like, oh, like if you loop back uh, <laughs> past the bar, uh, let me know. I'm happy to like jump in and like help you find parking. Yeah. And then they call me and they're like, I feel so bad you're waiting. Like, I'm just going to turn around and come get you. I was like, oh, don't worry about it. Like, I don't mind waiting. Like, no stress. And they're like, well, I'm not stressed. And so that is just like a clear example <laughs> of like the difference in communication <laughs> style. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but it was kind of like that. Like we were kind of hanging out and then like they were like teasing me a bunch, which is totally fine. Mm-hmm. So then I started to like tease them and stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. And then, and th- yeah, they were just like, I feel like, not I was like, I feel like you have all these expectations of like how I'm supposed to be acting. And I was like, mm, really not really. We were just kind of going back and forth, but like, yeah, like I, you know, I don't really vibe with the whole, like I'm mean to you kind of thing. Like, yeah. You know, and yeah. that's okay. Exactly. That's okay. Yeah. Um, well, we're we we're, got through all mine. Yeah. Oh, we did. Okay, great. Yeah. I have one final, um, mm. and then we'll give our our worldly yeah. advice to the people. Um, and this is actually to do with uh, friends because we were talking about it okay. last time. Kylie P- 
Pastel said, Ooh. do you guys think Joey should have ended up with Rachel, Phoebe, or even Kate or single? Hmm. I'm not giving any input because I don't even remember. It's been too long since I watched the You know, show. I know a lot of people are like <laughs> Rachel Joey fans. Um, but I think I think Joey and Phoebe mm. should have. Um because didn't she I don't even think she ra- wound up with like Paul Rudd's character either. But no, I feel like Joey and Phoebe were like kindred souls. Um, I'm sure like Joey Rachel would have been great as well, but uh, I feel like Phoebe like sees him, sees his like inner light. Nice, great. Well, you got Zach's answer. <laughs> um, you will not be getting one for me because if I haven't seen a show in a year, it's completely evaporated yeah, from honestly, my like, memory. You know, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't throw this out there right at the end. But Friends kind of overrated. Sorry to say, I just hate Ross so much. He almost ruins the whole show for me. A lot of people really, that so one annoying. clip of you talking about it last time, were really like yeah. agreeing with you. Yeah, he's yeah. just so annoying, bro. Yeah. Boo, yeah. Ross. Boo. 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 But, you know, David Schwimmer's a great actor, so go him. Exactly. Go him. People hate the character enough. But like, yeah, if I was on a show and like they kept writing stuff where I was like <laughs> subtly like backhanded complimenting people or like, you know, I, I'd be like, guys, like, stop making me such an insufferable asshole. Yeah, and they'd be like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> we like this. Although I feel like my typecast would be, uh, wouldn't be Ross. I, yeah, I don't think be so. be more of the Joey or Chandler type. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Well, do you have any uh, just words, words of, wisdom of wisdom or advice you would like to give to the wonderful people watching? Uh, you know, guys, like we're all going to die someday. <laughs> so, like, why worry about it? <laughs> like... Like, why are we putting so much pressure on ourselves? Like, it, it, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Um, you know, so, like, just be easier on yourself, and, like, it's going to be okay. And if it's not, like, we'll, it, we'll be dead. It won't matter. You know? <laughs> but never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> live forever. Become immortal. <laughs> yeah. I know you. We talked about you. Didn't <laughs> yeah. We already yeah. know I am. Yeah. I don't know if I'd do that. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't think I would be able to do well with watching everyone in my life like die yeah you'd persevere though <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like that was sad but uh it's time for a new era <laughs> i'd i'd be like i'd be like 600 years old and like still be thinking about my mom and just be crying yeah no it, w- it would definitely be yeah. more it would be very heartbreaking yeah. all right words of wisdom words of wisdom um <laughs> i think what's been uh hev- heavy on my heart Ooh, yeah. and not really heavy but um is just it will never uh not benefit you to like take care of yourself Mm -hmm. in the sense that like to like do fun hobbies or to learn new things or expand your knowledge like read books invest in yourself it will always 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 benefit your life and your experience to keep feeding into yourself in all those different ways and i think um i know for sure as women but i know guys do it too um, we, we tend to give a lot of ourselves to relationships or even, you know, family, friends. And, uh, this is just your reminder to, to like spend that good quality time with you, for you, doing the hobbies, making you money, like whatever your career, if that's your thing, like whatever it is and, and spend that good time and energy making yourself flourish yeah. too. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with people who make that want you to do that. Yes. Well. Learned like, wow, well, how dare you like prioritize yourself? Yeah. Of me. Get out of there. That's facts. Let's. It's 2024. We're cutting out toxic friendships. Yes. It's popped up. My sister-in-law like very recently had something like that, and I was on I was on a date, and I like happened to ask them. I'm like, oh, do you have any like toxic friendships and whatever? And it's so cl- everybody's everybody's got one. Yeah. It's like the people that just you walk away feeling a little weird, or they make kind of <laughs> weird comments, or they have a weird nickname for you, or they like don't include you in events, mm-hmm. or like they make you feel like you know other friends are more important. Mm-hmm. Get, get them out of here. Cut them out. Yeah. Goodbye. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out, guys. Yeah, leave a comment on the YouTube video so yeah. we can answer it. Follow us uh, on other platforms as well. Yes, all the platforms. T- TBD. Stream, eventually, TikTok. we'll do a we'll do a live stream podcast you episode know. once we're high enough mm. in follower count yep. to be eligible. Yep. Yeah. Follow us everywhere. All right, guys. Chat soon. Love you lots. Bye. Bye bye.